Hi, hello, welcome. I'm Rachel Bryant. I'm a geriatrics and extended care RN in Bay Pines, Florida. Uh, please mute your mic if you just joined so we don't have feedback. Today's practice is loving kindness. So loving kindness meditation or meta is an ancient practice. It's thousands of years old. They found it in pre-Buddhist Sanskrit texts, and now scientists are exploring benefits of ancient practices, including metta, and there's current research highlighting its potential to decrease stress, increase well-being and feelings of connectedness. Other benefits are decreased pain, more emotional intelligence, and more self-kindness. They have even found increases in gray matter in areas of the brain related to emotional regulation, and those with experience in loving kindness meditation had longer telomere lengths compared to age-matched controls. And as we know, shorter telomeres are a biological marker of aging. So the nice thing about loving kindness meditation, it's effective in immediate and small doses, but it can also have long-lasting and enduring effects. So let's, let's begin. Allow yourself to settle in. See if you need a little stretch and take a very comfortable posture. If you're in a place where you can lay down and you wanna do that, please do. And if you're comfortable allowing your eyes to close, this removes outside distractions, or you could lower and soften your gaze. And taking a few moments just to settle the body. The breathing, it might help to squeeze and release your muscles just allow yourself to be here. Set aside what's already happened today and what you have to do later and just begin to focus on right now your 15 minute gift to yourself. So begin to focus on solar plexus, your chest area, your heart center and start to imagine breathing in and out from that area, as if you're breathing from the heart. So if all experience is happening from there, anchor your mindfulness on the sensations at our heart center. And take a couple deep breaths, breathing in, slowly, deeply breathing in and deeply breathing out. A couple times. Allowing the breath to flow in and out through the heart. And allow your breathing to return to its natural rhythm. Just allowing the body to breathe itself. There's no need to control the breath in any way. Breathing in and out from the heart center, begin by generating a kind feeling towards yourself. Feel any areas of mental blockage, numbness, self-judgment, and drop just beneath that to the place where we care for ourselves, where we want strength and health and safety for ourselves. Become aware of yourself and focus on feelings of peace, calm, and tranquility and let these grow to feelings of strength and confidence and develop into love within your heart. You can use an image like a warm golden light flooding your body. And as you continue to breathe in and out, we're gonna very gently repeat these phrases in your mind. May I be happy. May I be healthy. May I be peaceful. May I live with ease. Some people choose to speak them in the you voice. May you live with ease. May I be happy. May I be healthy. May I be peaceful. 
May I live with ease. Now bring to mind someone who's been kind to you. Bring them to mind as vividly as you can and think of their good qualities. Feel your connection with your friend, your liking for them. If you have someone comes to mind who's been a benefactor, who's helped you in some way, for whom you feel respect or gratitude, you might select a grandparent, a child or a pet, someone who when you think about them, you kind of smile, oh yeah. Hold an image of that person or say their name in your mind and direct that force of loving kindness towards them, wishing them happiness and peace. Very gently, one phrase at a time, letting the mind rest in the phrase. So hold a sense of this person, direct the phrases toward them, wishing for their happiness and well-being. May you be happy. May you be healthy, as healthy as you can be. May you be peaceful. May you live with ease. May you be happy. May you be healthy. May you be peaceful. May you live with ease. Now bring to mind a neutral person. This may be someone you don't know well, but you see around. You reflect on their humanity and include them in your feelings of meta. Ideally, it would be someone you have an opportunity to run into to observe how a feeling of loving kindness develops over the course of time. Someone in your life who you don't have a strong sense of liking or disliking, a cashier where you get coffee, delivery driver, neighbor, coworker, See if you can bring that person to mind and extend the feeling of loving kindness towards them. Just as we all want to be happy, so this person also wants to be happy. Hold a sense of this person and very gently let your mind rest in the kind wishes. May you be happy. May you be healthy. May you be peaceful. May you live with ease. May you be happy. May you be healthy. May you be peaceful. May you live with ease. And if it feels workable, bring someone to mind with whom you've experienced difficulty. If there's someone you have difficulty with, perhaps not very grave difficulty at this point, someone who there's, there's some conflict, there's tension, unease, perhaps dislike. Remembering that this person too just wants to be happy. That out of ignorance or whatever, we all make mistakes that create harm or suffering and causing suffering inevitably will bring suffering to that person. See if you can extend that force of loving kindness towards them. To send kind wishes doesn't mean we approve or condone actions. It just means that we can see that actions can be incorrect or unskillful and not lose the connection. Trying not to get caught up in any feelings of uh, hatred. Think of them positively and send your meta to them as well. So calling to mind someone with whom there's difficulty. If you can find one good thing about this person in the midst of everything else, if you focus on that one good thing, just reflect on it for a moment. You'll find there's a feeling of drawing closer, opening, and all the rest can be seen in that light. 
If you can't find even one good thing about this person, you can reflect on their wish to be happy. The intention is to offer kindness. We don't control feelings. We allow feelings. So if difficult feelings come up, that's okay. Just let them coexist. And coming back to the sense of the body, the feet touching the ground, perhaps the breath in the chest. So towards the person with whom there's some difficulty, may you be happy. May you be healthy. May you be peaceful. May you live with ease. May you be happy. May you be healthy. May you be peaceful. May you live with ease. And in the final stage, first think of all four people together, yourself, your friend, the neutral person, the difficult person, and then extend your feelings further to everyone around you or in your neighborhood or your town. You can go throughout the world, have a sense of waves of loving kindness spreading if you want. You can expand your awareness to all beings everywhere without distinction, without exclusion. May all beings be free from danger. May they have mental happiness, physical well-being, and a sense of ease. All creatures known or unknown, near or far, some we like, some we don't, some we're neutral towards. All individuals happy, suffering, causing suffering, Still, they have this wish to be happy, to be free. May it be so. All those in existence, every being, may they be able to realize the fruits of what it is that we wish for ourselves. May you be happy. May you be healthy. May you be peaceful. May you live with ease. May you be happy. May you be healthy. May you be peaceful. May you live with ease. And just allowing your experience to be what it is, knowing that we're cultivating, we have the intention of goodwill, but you could have a whole array of feelings and you want to create space for that, big feelings, little feelings. See if you can allow that to be. If you'd like to continue this practice, you may want to find phrases that are the most meaningful to you. Um, people have used, may you be safe, may you care for yourself joyfully. May I accept myself just as I am. Sometimes people start off with their loved one and they add in themselves and they add in a neutral person. There's so many ways to adapt this practice. Um, Alexandra is going to put a survey into the chat. You are invited to take the survey that is posted in the chat. And thank you so much for coming and taking some time for yourself today. Thank you. Thank you, Rachel.